Hey guys, this is Scope, and we're back with more Let's Play Pokemon Soul Silver. In the last episode, we made it into Blaine's gym in the Seafoam Islands. In this episode, we are going to fight him, actually. So I was wrong, actually. If you fight these guys, they just move back and block the path to get into Blaine. Um, the only one you can fight to get to Blaine is this guy, because they all move in the direction backwards of where they're facing. So obviously, this guy moves backwards and you get into here. But I fought everybody in here, so now we're just going to fight Blaine. Let's just do it, shall we? Yes. So he is the fire type gym leader master guy. Peace, bro. He's kind of old, too. <laughs> His head glimmered, shimmered in the light because he's bald. That's funny. Okay, so he's got a level 54 mag cargo now. I believe mag cargo is fire and ground type, so surf from Gator with same type attack, same type attack bonus should just completely annihilate him. Especially now, because we're starting to catch up to these gym leaders, and uh, he's only Gator's only three levels behind this Matt Cargo. So yeah, easy smeezy. All right, Gator almost grows a level. Now let's see who he's got next. Okay, now he's got a level 54 Magmar. That's Blaine's trademark Pokemon that he always has. All right, so he's gonna go with Confuse Ray. All right, just bust through it, Gator. You know what to do, man. Do it. Ah. Okay. Okay, and see, now they're going to use Sunny Day as well. Um, what this does, Sunny Day powers up Fire-type moves, but it also weakens Water-type moves. So now Surf is not going to do nearly as much to Magmar. So now what I'm going to do is actually use Earthquake, because that's still super effective against this Fire-type Pokemon, except it's not weakened by Sunny Day. But it doesn't get same type attack bonus. I didn't see Magmar just use, I believe that's a uh, overheat or it's not flare blitz. Uh, whatever it is, it lowered his stat, but then he has a berry that just recovers that stat back. So Gator finally broke out of confusion. Sweet. So let's get some earthquake up in here. Yeah. Kill him. Kill him. Ah. Okay, and Sunny Day is still in effect. Good thing about Sunny Day though is it only lasts five turns. So let's get some healing in here since he's probably gonna end up healing anyway too. Do 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 do. Very nice. And I was right. Oh no. Alright, Sunny Day still up? I don't know, but I'm gonna use Surf. Alright, he's gonna confuse me again, that bastard. Okay, Gator. Bust through it, man. Yes, you the man, Gator. I believe Sunny Day is down now, isn't it? I don't know. I should have been paying more attention. Oh no, Sunny Day is still up, because that was weak sauce. Damn. Well, now. Oh, you have Thunder Punch? Why weren't you using that all along, you freak? I did not know he had Thunder Punch. And Gator's paralyzed. Of course, it's always something, isn't it? And confused. Parafusion for the loss. But we still got Earthquake out. Uh. How you like that, Magmar? Alright, so we'll kill you. Haha, -ha, you're dead. And Gator grows to level 52. Sweet! All right, and now Blaine sends out his last Pokemon. Blaine sends out his last Pokemon, and it's Rapidash, level 59. So actually, since Sunny Day is still in effect, she's gonna use Flare Blitz on me, and it's gonna be powered up because of the Sunny Day, but it's still weak. So now Gator's gonna go with full Paralyzation. Good choice, Gator. Okay, just kidding. We're gonna use a full Restore Gator to get rid of Paralyzation and heal up. Very cool. Oh, you're gonna use bounce? Well, that's not nice. I guess I'll just use slash since it. Does. Oh, you go first still, dude. Dude. And I just use thrash, and you paralyze me. Oh, thank God, because I didn't want to use thrash. Quick attack. 
What are you doing at level 59 with still quick attack? Stop being fully paralyzed, Gator. You're making this difficult, man. Seriously. Who still has quick attack at level 59? Dude! Gator! Come on, man. Dude. Gator. Dude. Gator. Dude. Dude. Oh, now, now you do it when she's up in the air. Oh, Gator Man. I thought I knew you better than this. There we go. About freaking time. The good news is this attack should kill Rapidash in one hit. That's the good news. It didn't kill Magmar in one hit, but it should. What? Dude. Oh, yeah, I got a critical hit last time. That's right. Okay, well, that's fine. We'll finish it off with Surf as long as we don't die. Yeah. Well, at least you waste the full paralyzation now. I hope that doesn't kill me. Oh, yeah. Dude! Gator, you're the worst person ever. Oh, you're totally letting me down, Gator, in this battle, man. Totally. This battle should have been over like three minutes ago, man. <sighs> okay. We got this. Don't worry. We're still going to win. It's just going to take longer because Gator's being a douche box. Yeah, quick attack. Good for you. Alright, surfatize me. Ugh. Rapidash, man. You know, it's not even your fault, Rapidash. You're, you're fighting a valiant fight. It's Gator's fault. He's being a retard. Haha, -ha, you missed. You better kill her, Gator. Yes, Sunny Day wasn't in effect, so we got a good hit. Alright, Gator gained massive experience. That fight's usually a lot easier, by the way, with Gator. Uh, I just kind of brain farted. Alright, and we win. And we get our 15th badge. Yeah! Sweetness. And TM50. That will be in a side note. You better believe that. Alright. So now that we have defeated Blaine, we are going to get out of here. Because there's no more need to be in this weird, awkward little room. Okay. And now you may ask what we are going to do. Well... Let's fly back to Cinnabar first, because we need to heal, and also we want to go see what Gary's up to now, now that we got all the badges, except for his, so we're going to see what he wants to do about that, if he has anything to say about that. Hello, Gary. Yeah, look, I got 15 badges. I just beat Blaine. All right, so that means he's finally heading back to his gym, and now he's going to be ready for us to, to fight us in Viridian City. <laughs> But before we do that, let me just tell you guys, Gary's not a joke. He's not a joke. He's really, really, really tough. He's a, like 10 steps higher than all these gym leaders in Kanto even. He's really tough. So we're going to need all the experience we can get. So what I'm going to do is actually, before we head to Viridian City to get our last badge, we're going to explore the Seafoam Islands that we were just at. I mean, shoot, there was a whole other part of that place, you know? And actually, you can't fly to Seafoam Island, so you have to manually surf over there. But that's no problem. You know, it's just a few random battles that you gotta deal with, but that's alright. So I guess in the next episode, we will be uh, exploring the Seafoam Islands. And there is some pretty interesting stuff to be had there. Uh, namely, I can't actually name it, because I want it to be a surprise, even though most of you know. And will probably spoil it in the comments, but that's okay, because I have faith. Um, but yeah, we're gonna do that, maybe catch somebody, and hopefully be a little bit higher leveled, and then after that, mm, who knows, then maybe we'll go fight Gary, maybe not, but we shouldn't be too far off from doing that. Anyway, so once we go through these seafoam islands, we will come out on the other side, which is that island on the other side of the rocks, um that we were just seeing before we got thrust into a random battle right there. So that part of the island with those trainers and whatnot, and then we'll surf to Fuchsia City from there, and then we'll explore the whole map, except for one area that I still have neglected, which is Mount Moon, which is between Pewter City and Cerulean City. It's a one-way route, and we're going to be exploring that after we get the 16th badge, I believe, too. Or maybe we'll explore it before, I don't know. All I know is I'm going to need repels for this place, so I'm going to save here, I'm going to go buy some repels, and um, I'll see you guys next time in Let's Play Pokemon Soul Silver, where we'll explore the Seafoam Islands. Bye bye, everybody.